ಕಾಮೇವ ಬಂಧನ ನೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮುಕ್ಷೀಯಮೃತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ We've been exploring in this series of classes how to achieve your goals. And so far we've learned how to gather our resources, many of which ha- we have been wasting our energy, gathering them to the task. We've focused on the technique of visualization, this often misunderstood and totally underutilized faculty within each person. We have worked on partnering with God partnering with God to achieve what we want and using that attunement with God to help us go in the direction that is right for us. Now in this fourth class, we are going to use the principle of magnetism to really begin to make it happen in our lives. You know, when you have electricity moving through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around that wire. Well, it's the same with our bodies. We have energy, life force moving through our body that creates a magnetic field around us. Of course, it's the aura. But we can also concentrate that energy in very specific directions that will create a strong magnetic field around it that will draw to us that which we seek in our lives, whether it's an outward goal or an inward goal. The principle of magnetism works on both levels and it's real key. What we're going to do t- in this class is first, we're going to do the entire set of energization exercises of Paramahansa Yogananda to, to generate a powerful flow of energy within the body. We'll practice a few asanas then to gather that energy into the spine and direct it up to the brain. And then finally, we'll use a very powerful technique of m- using magnetism to draw to us that which we seek. So let's get started with energization. Just a couple things first about how to practice energization. If you haven't seen the full series in a teaching form, please go to our website and find them because you'll find it much easier to follow. We're going to go a little faster today. First, we're tensing and relaxing various parts of the body. Right? When you tense, what you're doing is sending energy to that body part. When you relax, you're releasing energy. And by sending and releasing energy, you develop a relationship with the life force. It begins to come more under your control. You can bring more of it into your body. So we're going to tense many different body parts in this series. Feel that each part is acting like its own storage battery, the whole body storing more and more and more prana. When you tense, tense hard, but in a smooth progression from low to medium to high tension and relax from high to medium to low smoothly. A number of these exercises are done with a double breath. And that's a short and long inhale through the nose. (laughs) Short and long exhale through nose and mouth. (sighs) And at other times when we're not specifying double breathing, just breathe as feels natural to you. So let's do these together now, and Corey is going to assist in our class. Let's begin energization as we always begin here at Ananda Village with a prayer, asking God to flow into us in this form of energy, in this form of joy. Let's pray together. O infinite spirit, recharge my body with thy cosmic energy, my mind with thy concentration, my soul with thy ever-new joy. O eternal youth of body and mind, abide in me forever and forever. Om. Amen. First one, palms together, knees flexed, double inhale, tense up in a wave. Double exhale, relax down in a wave. Two more. Really squeeze, completely relax. Well, let's do one more. Vibrate with energy and relax. Calf recharging will be your mirror images here. So stand on your left foot. We'll stand on our right. Tense the left calf up. Relax the top. Tense down. Relax the bottom. 
Tense up and relax. Tense down. Relax one more time. And then hold the foot up behind with tension around the ankle. Rotate the ankle. All right, let's do the other side. First the calf. Squeeze up, release. Squeeze down. Two more. Ankle rotation and reverse. Remember, tension around the ankle. All right, left foot forward, weight back on the right foot. Tense the left calf and forearm, low, medium, vibrate, and slowly release. Thigh and upper arm, and release. Calf and forearm, relax. Thigh and upper arm. Once more, calf and forearm, thigh and upper arm. All right, let's do the other side. Calf and forearm, squeeze, release. Thigh and upper arm. Calf and forearm, really bring joy into this. Don't make it hard work. Thigh and upper arm. Calf and forearm. Thigh and upper arm. And both sides, calves and forearms. Thighs and upper arms. Feel the energy supply in your body growing as you go through one more calves and forearms and thighs and upper arms. Okay, let's tense the left buttock and left side of the chest. Squeeze and release. Right buttock and right side of the chest. Release and left. Release and right. Once more on the left, once more on the right. Okay, we're going to recharge the back. Now, Corey, if you turn around, I'll point on you as we tense the lower left back and relax, lower right back, relax. And the left side and the right side. Good, left side once more, squeeze and release, and right. Now the mid-back on the left, and the right, and left, and right, once more each side. And then the upper back on the left side, good, right side. Get to that point where it's vibrating with energy, relax, and left, and right side. One more time each side. Okay, come back around. Shoulder rotation, fingertips on the shoulders, tension in the shoulders as you roll the entire range of motion of the shoulder, reverse direction. Okay, throat recharging, tense in front, and relax. And again, one more. Just the left side of the neck only. Isolate there and relax. Right side, relax. And left and right. One more. When you know these exercises, they really only take 10 or 12 minutes to do. We're going slower than that today. All right, now we're going to tense the back of the neck. Drop the chin and with a double inhale, tense the back of the neck as you lift the head. <laughs> Double exhale, relax forward. Double inhale, squeeze up and relax down. And again. Tension all through the neck now and make circles with the head. And reverse. And no tension now, but still lengthen your neck. Keep staying in control. Don't let the head flop around. And reverse. Okay, we've done the top of the spine, the neck. Now let's do the rest of the spine. Separate the feet comfortably for balance. Hands just below the waist and twist the shoulders and hips opposite directions. But the main movement in the shoulders, head faces forward. All right, hands on the rim of the pelvis. I'll turn sideways because we're Arching the spine. I want you to see that arch as we circle 
the upper body one direction. Again, really charge the body with energy. Charge yourself with joy while you're at it other way. Just enjoy your practice. Enjoy building that reservoir of energy inside, side to side now. Tensing around the spine, squeezing. All right, let's adjust the individual vertebra, hands on either side of the base of the spine, bend forward and push up and in. Move the hands higher, do it again. Just work your way up the spine until you've gone as high as you can go. Okay, now upper spinal twist, tension in the arms, and follow the hands with your eyes as you twist one side and then the other side. Try not to twist the hips. You're going to keep the hips facing straight forward, just the shoulders, arms, head. All right, skull tapping briskly with the fists, wrapping the skull all over. And scalp massage, loosening scalp from skull, but also with the energy of the hands radiating life to the brain cells. Just invigorating them as we release tensions in the scalp. All right. Massaging the medulla oblongata now at the base of the brain, just below the skull, with the first three fingers of each hand at the medulla. Circle one direction, and then the other direction. Double inhale, tense back against resistance of your fingers. Double exhale, relax forward. Again, circles one way, circles the other way. Double inhale, tense back. Double exhale, and relax. One last time. Circles. And squeeze back. <sighs> Good. Now let's recharge the bicep. Interlace the fingers over the head. Left bicep. Vibrate with energy. And relax. Right bicep. And relax. One more on the left. One more on the right. Well, let's do another. Left. And right. So feel a growing sense of joy and vitality as we go through these exercises. And if you're not, you might find that if you put more energy into them, you'll get even more out. Let's do a du deep double inhale, hold, and vibrate the whole body. Squeeze. Double exhale. Relax. Individual body parts, starting with the left foot. Squeeze, curl the toes under, relax. Right foot, relax. Left calf, relax. Right, left thigh, relax. Right thigh, relax. Left buttock, right side. Lower abdomen, below the navel, and relax. Upper abdomen, above the navel. Relax. Left forearm. Right forearm. Left upper arm. Right upper arm. Left side of chest. Right side. Left side of neck. And right. Front of neck. And back of neck. Okay. Now we'll accumulate the tension in each of those same body parts, holding the tension until we get to the very top. The whole body is tense. When we relax, relax chin down and the other parts in reverse order, keeping the chin down. So tense the left foot, hold tension. Right foot, hold. Left calf, right. Left thigh, right. Left buttock, right. Lower abdomen, upper. Left forearm, right. Left upper arm, right. Left chest, right. Left neck, right. Front, back, everything. Squeeze the entire body. Vibrate with joy. Release the entire neck, chin to chest. Release the right chest, left, right upper arm, left, right forearm, left, upper abdomen, lower, right buttock, left, right thigh, left, right calf, left, right foot, left. Double inhale, tense the whole body. Double exhale and relax. All right, imaginary weights in your hands. Squeeze up, release, squeeze down. 
two more. Like the very first one, but instead of with the palms together in front and the elbows together, double inhale, tense up in a wave, double exhale, relax down. <sighs> full tension at the top, full relaxation at the bottom. One last one. <sighs> All right, arms out to the sides. Squeeze in, relax, and push out. Try to keep the upper arms parallel to the floor. Small circles of the arms, a tension through the arms, squeezing harder and harder. Relax in reverse direction. And relax. Fists to the forehead, elbows ahead, tense forward, relax, and back. Two more. Lots of energy in the arms. Finger recharging down by your sides. Out to the sides, lots of energy in the hands, opening, closing in front and overhead. Relax, four-part arm recharging, tense side, tense front, tense up, relax down. Inhaling, exhaling, double inhaling, double exhaling. <sighs> One more. Left arm only, squeeze up with a double inhale, release down, double exhale, right. Side to side. Still double breathing, always tension these exercises until we get to the very end. We're charging the body with energy, not just stretching it. Let's walk in place now. Lots of energy, lifting the knees, swinging the arms. Just feel like in the process of doing this, you are generating magnetism because that's exactly what you're doing. And feel that sort of main electrical wire around which you're generating a magnetic field is right in the center of your torso, the astral spine. And let's run in place now. Lifting the knees high, also lifting the heels high behind you. Even to the point of kicking the buttocks if you can. And let's relax. Okay, now fencing exercise. Hands to the chest, step the left foot forward, thrust the right arm forward. <sighs> Double exhaling, tense in right side. Double inhale back, change sides. <sighs> Keep alternating. <sighs> Good. Large circles of the arms. Double inhaling, tensing up. Double exhaling, relaxing down. Rivers. Throw the breath out strongly, hold it out, bend, o bend over palms on thighs, and draw the abdomen strongly in. I'll hold my hand here just so you can see, but you don't need to hold your hand there. Come up for air when you need to. Let's do it again, strongly blowing it out, <sighs> holding it out, and squeezing the abdomen in. One more time, this time squeeze in and push out, squeeze in and push out all the time. The breath is out. Almost done. Double breathing, palms touching like the first one. <sighs> Tense up in a wave. Relax down in a wave. <sighs> one more. <sighs> OK, 
Half for charging, let the second stand on the right foot. Squeeze the left calf up, relax. Squeeze down, relax. Up, relax, and down. One more time. Ankle rotation with tension and reverse direction. Right side, first the calf. And then the ankle. All right, hip recharging, standing on the right foot, circling the left leg. Keep the foot moving low to the ground. In the other direction. If you have trouble balancing as we go to the other side, just hold on to the left elbow. That would help you. If you don't need to, that's fine. Just release other way. And last of all, the only one without tension, Double breathing, no tension, relax, double exhale. Those hands extend out in front. Relax, double inhale. Just draw the hands back in. Go at your own pace. Just close the eyes and feel the body moving with the breath. But more important, moving with the life force. For that's truly what causes the body and the breath to happen. Last one. Relax the hands to your sides. Just stand quietly. Eyes still closed, gazing at the point between the eyebrows and just enjoy the vitality within the body. It's loaded with prana now. We're going to circulate that prana a bit more through the body and then we're going to bring it more and more to a focus in the spine and ultimately to the brain. All right, now let's circulate this prana through the body a bit more with the full yogic breath flow. I'll turn sideways for you. This breathing pattern, expanding the belly and then the lower ribs and the chest as you inhale. Chest relaxes in, lower ribs, belly as you exhale. And now that we add movement to this breathing pattern, try to keep the breathing pattern. It's easy for that to slip away. Let's keep it. Let's bring the hands just in front. We use the magnetism of the hands to lift energy through the body, but also to Wipe away fatigue, any scattered energies. Wipe it away. Palms toward the body at the base of the spine. Let's inhale up the spine, drawing energy up to the brain and offering that energy back to its source in infinity. Exhaling, hands again, just about touching the body and slowly roll down as far as comfortable for you. And then inhaling, coming up. Hands almost touching the body. That way their magnetism will be best able to influence the energy in the body. Let's move a couple more times through this. If you're very sensitive, you can feel the effect of your hands on the energy. One more time. And as we finish up the last inhalation, really have a sense of offering this energy back to God, back to its infinite source. Just give it back. And let the hands circle around out to the side, down to Tadasana. Just close the eyes, let the body soften. Really charge the body with energy. Should feel like it's easily moving through the body. And now we're going to begin to that migrate to the spine. Let's come down into a sitting position on the floor. We're going to do forward bend. I'm going to sit on a cushion. You may wish to, too, or not. It's up to you. And spread the feet wide apart for Janusharasana, head to knee pose. Just take a moment to open through the inner thighs. And then let's bend the right knee and bring the right foot in.
to the inner left thigh. Inhale, reach tall. Turn to the left leg with a straight spine. Exhale forward. Let the hands come down wherever they come down. But lift, lift through the front of the chest so we're not rounding over in this first phase. Back of the neck is long. One more breath. And then let go. Really release into full Janusharasana. If the hands come out to the feet, to the foot, by, the, by all means, Wrap them around the foot. But if they don't, just let them be where they are. This is about the spine. Let it feel your mind in the spine opening up as the spine releases, stretches. Silently affirm, left and right and all around, life's harmonies are mine. release, walk the hands back in, inhaling, stretch tall, exhaling back to cross-legged position once again. Just any comfortable cross-legged sitting position, just close the eyes, go inside, go inside of all that energy, all that increasing magnetism. Keep your focus inside as we do the other side of the asana. Stretch the right leg out to the side. And let's inhale, reach tall. Exhale, turn. Lengthen out over the right leg. Keep the spine long and straight. Straight meaning it's natural curves. Don't be rounding the spine. Chest open, belly open. One last breath this way. And then exhale fully into Janusharasana. Allow the spine to lengthen and open. That's really the key to these forward bends. Stretch through the back of the leg is wonderful, but it's very secondary. The spine is what it's all about. Left and right and all around, life's harmonies are mine. Let's walk the hands back in, inhaling, stretch tall, exhaling, relax back to cross-legged position once again. Feel that each time you come to a position like this, a neutral position, that you're going deeper inside. The energy is going where your attention is going. Wherever you place your concentration, that's where energy is going to go. Concentrate in the spine. Let's do Purvottanasana, front stretching pose. For Corey, we'll do the full, full version of the pose. I'll do it off my knees here so you can see a couple different variations. Hands behind and fingertips facing the feet. As you inhale, lift the hips up, buttocks, all your whole body coming up off, expanding upward. Whatever is touching the floor, push into the floor with it. And silently affirm, with a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. And let's relax back down into sitting position. Just allow the effort to recede and the energy to gather in your spine. We're going to do a couple of asanas now that will really recharge the spine with energy. Very strong poses, not difficult poses, but very strong effect. First, we're going to do Sasamgasana hair pose. So come into child pose, preparatory for that. Just rest the forehead on the floor in front of you. Come all the way down, hands down by your feet. So 
Place your awareness in the spine before I go into the asana. Be very, very clear about that because this is so recharging for the spine. If, if you're really there with the asana, it will have a powerful effect. Grasp the heels with the thumbs along the outer edge of the heels, fingers on the insteps, and bring your forehead in closer to your knees. Inhaling, lift the hips up, stretching arms straight, but focus the stretch mainly in the spine. Re feel like you're reaching the spine forward, but the hands are resisting that reach, and the net effect is that the spine is magnetized. Mentally affirm. I am master of my energy. I am master of myself. I am master of my energy. I am master of myself. And relax back to child pose. That was a powerful forward bend of the spine. Not about opening the spine as the relaxing ones are, but about charging the spine with energy. Now we're going to charge it with even more energy through Dhanurasana, the bow pose. So come forward onto your belly. And reach the arms back, bend your knees, grasp your ankles. Try not to let the knees splay too far apart in this asana. Pressing the pubic bone into the floor, inhaling, reach back through the legs, lift up. The whole body lifts up. Spine is the focal point of it all. There's energy charging into the spine. Mentally affirm. I recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. Recall my scattered forces to recharge my spine. And let's relax back down fully onto the floor and push back in a child pose. Let the back side of the body stretch out a little bit here before we go into our final active asana. We're going to bring this awakened energy Gathered in the spine, we're going to bring it very powerfully to the brain. Through one of two asanas, Corey is going to do headstands, shasana. If you know that pose, please follow along with him. If you don't know that pose, if you haven't done it before, please look at our online tutorial. It's on our website. Don't make this your first time without complete instruction. Instead, do hair pose, sasandasana, along with me, which we just did a moment ago. So Corey's going to come up and prepare for headstand. And he'll interlace the fingers, bring them onto the floor, elbow shoulder width apart, and bring the back of the head into the hands, and then Walk the feet into the upright position. Find stability. And he'll bend his knees and straighten the legs up through the sky into Shasana. If you want to do Sasamgasana, just follow along with me. Either case, just feel the pressure on the crown of the head drawing energy to the brain. If you silently affirm, I am he, I am he, blissful spirit, I am he. One more long, slow breath. Make it easy on yourself. This should be a relaxing pouring of prana into the brain. Let's do one more breath, too. Allowing the life force to pool in the brain. And then gracefully come out of the asana. Back to child pose. Let's just stay down here for a few breaths. Let the body readapt. If you have more time, it's a wonderful asana to spend even more time in to bring more and more energy to the brain. 
But for us now, let's stretch out full length on the floor and roll over onto your back into Shavasana, a corpse pose. Close the eyes and bring your gaze to the point between the eyebrows. Let the body relax. And in the meditation portion of our class, we're going to focus on some particular goal that you have right now in your life. And I'd like you first to simply choose that goal now. If you haven't already made it specific, do so now. Bring it to mind in this relaxation. And as you breathe, consciously use the breath. Use especially the exhalations to exhale away any doubt about whether you can achieve that goal. Exhale away any resistance to the steps along the way to that goal. Breathe it all the way till you feel free of any inner attitudes that may be holding you back. They won't anymore. They're gone. Let's bring the knees up to the chest, squeeze them in, and roll along the length of your spine, forward and back, pumping energy through the spine one more time and all the way up. Let's come into a sitting position, any comfortable cross-legged position or in a chair. 
Now we're going to practice the climactic te- technique of using magnetism to achieve your goal. Close the eyes, lift the gaze to the point between the eyebrows. And feel in your heart that desire for the goal. Feel it pulsing very strongly in your heart. And then send it up through the spine to the spiritual eye and out through the spiritual eye into the universe as a powerful, loving demand of the universe. See it like a a laser beam shooting up to the brain and then forward out into the universe. Powerful ray of energy. Don't hold back. Just make that loving demand of God a very powerful loving demand. And just like electricity flowing through a wire, that ray of demand going out from your spiritual eyes, creating a magnetic field around itself. It's just the inner physics, you could say. That field naturally begins to rotate around that ray of energy that is your loving demand. With your willpower, begin to rotate that magnetic field even more strongly. And feel God coming in to help you as you rotate that magnetic field around the energetic ray of your loving demand. And together, making that magnetic field even stronger. Rotate it with the feeling that you know you will have when success arrives, when the goal is achieved. Use that feeling quality that we've emphasized in the other classes. Feel the success, not then but now. You have all this energy that you're radiating. You have God in there with you, wanting you to achieve that righteous goal. Feel the magnetism growing stronger and stronger. in divine partnership that goal is beginning to manifest around you even now even if you can't see it even if there's no outward evidence know that it is happening now you have begun the process that will surely bring you what you seek. Now, relax your effort. Relax your will. And just feel God's presence with you. Feel the your goal beginning to manifest already. And just offer an inner prayer of gratitude. Not just for the surety of achieving your goal, but for the sweetness of divine partnership. What could be a greater gift?
prepare to bring the mind back to your outward state of awareness. As you're ready, slowly open the eyes once again. Remember, as you use this principle of magnetism to achieve what it is you seek in life, remember that its power is not yours. The power is God's. It is God working through you. It is God manifesting through you. Use that power, yes, but honor its source. Give gratitude back to that infinite source that you may achieve the highest goal, the goal of yoga, union with spirit. Joy to you.